It is that day, it is that day. There's the door opening. Finally, the EP3 is getting mapped. Now, obviously, we're down here at TDI. Absolute legends, these guys really have uh, helped me out in getting my car mapped so soon. Um, the first thing we're going to do is obviously, when I got this dynode at motion, it made 200 and like nine and a half brake. And I'm pretty sure that is just because the, uh, the exhaust is a two and a quarter inch. So the other night, I decided to go and buy a skunk two system, another one which is 2.73 inch I think so TDI absolute legend they're gonna put me on the ramp we're gonna quickly install this and uh, and then the car's being mapped so uh, I'm gonna crack on that's a mad size difference isn't it yeah, it is. even imagine a three inch then yeah I know yeah that, obviously that's this is 2.7 and like you can just tell night and day isn't it so more power <laughs> Absolute legends these guys, they're obviously uh, sorting me out some gaskets and stuff like that so we've got no exhaust leaks, putting it on all for me. I've offered to help, don't worry, but um, they've said no, we'll, we'll sort it. So we're going to do a run with the Skunk 2 system on, just to see how much more it makes standard and then obviously get into the mapping. So I'm kind of intrigued to find out how much the Skunk 2 is going to make a difference just from the uh, from the two and a quarter, because obviously with these, because there's a lot of back pressure, it's kind of one of them that the, the quicker the, the crap can get out, then the faster it kind of goes but I am uh, I am very excited today I'm very excited right so for those that watched the video where I uh, came and dropped the atom off with Rick there's been a lot done since then so I'll show you a few bits look at the progress <laughs> you've been busy haven't you look at that man a little screamer pipe there Rick if you're watching I've got no words for you pal <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is going to be naughty. So there's a, uh, they're doing a track day coming up soon, uh, going to Anglesey. So I'm going to be attending that as well. Take the camera down, and uh, Rick will probably maybe take me out in this. But that, that's going to be crazy. That's going to be crazy. The uh, the manifold is over here. So obviously this is just the demo like test manifold. Can't remember where he said it's from, but oh look at that man. So it's like 30% less heat for because of this coating from the special company, but lovely, lovely bit of kit. Not cheap either. A um, couple of things he's having done as well, uh, as far as I know. He's having a dump valve come in here, right next to his Swede. <laughs> um, screamer pipe, obviously. So it's uh, it's different to when we dropped it off. Very excited for this though, very excited for this. So I think, think the Skunt 2 system's on now. Um, like I said, they're gonna give it a run on the dyno just to see how much it's make it's made um, over the old exhaust. So we'll be seeing what a two and a quarter inch to a two two point seven makes, and uh, that'll be interesting. Then it's then it's mapping time. So I'll announce it. We are having pop and bang. Uh, launch control we're having the shift light so if you don't know what that is the engine light flashes went to shift which is kind of cool um, what else are we have what else are we have him not sure but we'll, we'll I'll show you when, we, when it gets done really big thank you to TDI though please uh, please show them some love drop them a follow on Instagram uh, even if you're not looking at getting anything done on your car uh, their Instagram page is full of like cool stuff they're always posting updates of the actor and um, there's so many cool things going on in here like literally Drop them a follow because it's just uh, it's just a cool cool page that they've got really to uh, to have a quick have a quick nosy. But yeah, obviously I'm going to leave them to it. I don't want to stick a camera in everyone's face. But oh, I'm so excited for today. So excited. So we've got a danger switch, a little missile switch for the pop and bangs. <laughs> Naughty. So the O2 sensor's out and the bung is in. That's when you know she's going to be mapped. Next stage is mapping. <laughs> well, putting the K100 in first. But yeah, I've gone for the K100 because. I'm just going to be dead set with you guys. I'm never going to touch the, the ECU on my own. So, and TDI is quite literally like 15 minutes away from my house. So, if I need anything adjusting, I can literally just bring it in. So, uh, went for the K100, save a bit of money uh, that I could put into something else. But I told you, boys, we're getting mapped. I told you. <laughs> a couple of people commenting on the video saying it's not actually getting mapped. You're bullshitting. Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> right. Next step. What can I say, neighbours? What can I say? I'm nervous, but I'm excited at the same time. It's a horrible feeling. <laughs> it's a horrible oh, feeling. Is the first time it goes on. Yeah. Once you see them three, four times a day. Yeah. K20s, aren't they? So. 
Next, yeah. You don't run to 15 pounds. Or money shift them. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, take a stand outside, and leave the guy to it. All right, so I'm gonna hope for 2.30. If I can make 2.30 with pops and bangs and all the uh, all the extra bits, then I'm a happy guy at that. Uh, I'm not chasing figures, as long as it drives nice, etc. Um, then I'll be happy at that. The reason I'm not chasing figures, because in the end I am going to be turbo in it. So uh, I'm not too fussed about figures NA. So we'll see what it makes, we'll see what it makes. I might be disappointed, it might make like 2.25, but like I said, if it drives better and the pops and bangs and that, then I'm a happy guy at that. But we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> Okay, so all I've been told so far is that from the uh, old exhaust to the Skunk 2, the old exhaust made 209 horsepower, putting the Skunk 2 on it's made 225. So that's yeah, that's just proof that you need a bigger exhaust. So uh, he's going to let me take it for a drive, he's not going to tell me what it's made yet. Uh, I'm going to take it for a drive and then he's going to tell me what uh, what horsepower it's made, but oh, it did sound sick. I think they're just putting the, the switch in for the pop and bang now and uh, good to go for a good to go for a hoot. Then Ben's gave me this because he's a cutie. <laughs> okay, so Pops and Bangs is now uh, active, so. <laughs> So when the pop and bangs are on, uh, bo yeah. pop and bangs are on. Will the engine light flash to change it, gear or not? It will. No, it'll just stay on constant. Right sound. No so, worries. Yeah, just knock it off and then you get the middle. As you That's like. me. <laughs> right. <laughs> let's take it for a spin. I've got to put pop and bang on, on it. Definitely. Oh wait, it's all weird. So I'll have launch control, won't I? Oh my god. 
Okay, right, I want a couple of guesses in the comments up to now uh, of what you think it made. Now, I wasn't expecting it to make this at all. Like I said, I'd have been very, very happy at 2.30, but, you finish your guesses? 238 horsepower, which is, well, 237.9, so we're gonna say 238. Um, as you can see, this is the printout. It's completely different. Obviously, the blue was before, and the mid-range now is so aggressive. So, like, on the motorway in sixth, I'll be able to plant my foot, and it'll feel very, uh, very torquey in a way. But, oh, my God, massive, massive thank you to everyone at TDI. They really, really have sorted me out and uh, and helped me big time. Even fitting the exhaust, that sounds pretty as both. No, honestly, please uh, show some love to TDI for helping me out. Obviously, none of this would have been possible without them. <sighs> Thank you so much to TDI, the car's absolutely, it don't even feel like it's even my car anymore, I don't even know it anymore, but so happy, 238 horsepower is a good figure. To say I've not got the uh, an aftermarket inlet manifold either, that's, uh, that's very impressive, so strong engine, which is good. Anyway, I'll cut to some clips of, maybe get some flybys later or something, but for now, Let's go have some fun. The, the engine light's on because the pop and bangs are on, that's how you know uh, it's on or not, but you ready for this? <laughs> it's so asmo. Okay, that is gonna do it. I've uh, I've been giving it a bit of death. I've been driving it here, there and everywhere for the past couple of hours and oh my God, it's so good. Okay, it is a little bit loud. It's hard to drive it quietly, but when you're cruising, it's not too bad, but the Skunk 2 system is, uh, is, is always gonna be a loud system. Honestly, I want to just say really, really big thank you to Ben and everyone else at Jay, everyone at TDI North for, for helping me out. Paul, who mapped it, it's absolutely amazing. It's not even like it's my car. It's not even like an EP3 anymore. It's absolutely insane. The pops and bangs, are stu if, you, if you downshift into gear two and uh, let the revs build up like quite high, it, it's just stupidly loud with the pops and bangs. It's so asbo, I love it, man. So yeah, a lot of you might have thought that, I, I know a few people when I put the Instagram post up said I was gonna make like 240s, 250s. Now, I just want everyone to know that I'm on the standard uh, OEM inlet manifold. So they're kind of limited at 238. I've not seen a an inlet manifold go high than 238 i know craig and as uh, they both made 238 so it's kind of like it's kind of the limit there you're probably not going to push 240 with a with a standard inlet you might but i've not seen it yet anyway oh I'm so happy with it it's so sick the launch control sounds amazing i'm going to do a full video on just going out getting a load of flybys uh, that's the reason there's been none in this video because i want to save it for another video but go out get some flybys and uh, just get some pretty cool clips of uh, try and get a nighttime clip as well of the pops and bangs and the flames and everything because it absolutely flames like no tomorrow it's uh it's unreal how different it is if you've got an ep3 please uh please get it mapped i know i've been saying it for a while but it's took time end of the day i was doing youtube for a full-time job and it didn't make me much money at all so it has took a little bit longer but it's been so worth the wait. Like, honestly, it's flipping sick. I did clean it this morning, but it's ditched. Um, anyway, yeah, once again, thank you very much to TDI. Thank you to Dan Royal Flush for letting me have the day off to get my car mapped. Absolute mega boss you are, mate. Uh, yeah, thank you to TDI. Thank you for all you guys. You're absolutely amazing. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.